The House of uh, Governor Yesomwike in Port Harcourt has become a maker of salt because so many politicians are trooping to Mwike's house for one reason or the other, to either look for patronage or to work in cooperation or whatever, but it's just happening. So many of them are going there. And among the people that went there this week is Bala Mohammed from Bauchi State, Governor of Bauchi State. But we are more interested in the visit of the Labour Party candidate, presidential candidate Peter Obi, who visited Mwike in Port Harcourt. And we want to know why and what is going on. Before we let you into the secrets of what is happening, we urge you to consider subscribing to our channel. Also, press the notification bell so that our updates will come directly to you. Help us to like and share this news. Okay, so Port Harcourt is the destination and the Labour Party presidential candidate, Mr. Pito B, suddenly went to Port Harcourt and we actually saw him in photographs with Governor Yesu Mwike, the governor of River State. And people have been wondering, what is this visit about? What is going on? Because Nwike has become like a beautiful bride lately. You know, he contested the presidential uh, slot to be a presidential candidate of the PDP. And he did very well. We have to give it to him. He came second. He was beaten by Atiku Abubakar with all kind of political maneuverings that took place. And Mike remained a faithful party man, licked his wound and said he's not going to leave the PDP, he will continue. Atiku even paid him a visit specifically to tell him of the need to continue. And he later said he will continue to be a PDP member. Right. Soon after, he came to the fact that Atiku Abubakar will choose a vice president. And the governors insisted that he must be one of them. And because Atiku is from the northeast, that vice president will be from the southeast or south-south as the case have turned out. And Mwike came in top contention because he came in the second place. The PDP set up a committee to screen the vice presidential candidates and from information reaching us, Mwike topped everything. But suddenly, Atiku announced Ifan Yokowa as his deputy. And Ifan Yokowa is also a governor from Delta State. And Mwike did not find it funny anymore. He was jinxed as the vice uh, presidential candidate and he also lost as a vice presidential candidate. And Mwike spent a lot of resources. He laid out huge resources for this venture. And everything has gone up in the air. And Mwike is nowhere near power. And as far as we know, Mwike is also not going to become a senator, which is the pastime or the route that most governors take. After being governor for eight years, they go to the, the Senate to continue to be relevant and to relax and cover from de themselves with all kind of immunity if he still works anyway. So Mwike is disgruntled as far as we can see. He has never con uh, congratulated Ifan Yokowa. And Atiku, I don't think he has been able to visit Mwike like before. Instead, he's sending emissaries like the Governor Bala Mohammed of Bauchi State, setting up committees to reconcile with Mwike and talk to him to stay in the party. Who knows? But other people are also... Visiting Mwike because, like I said, he has become a beautiful bride. Governor Dave Omahi of a PC of a Boni State, who was in the same PDP. And when he left, Mwike uh, used very harsh words on him and he also attacked Mwike back using the same kind of words. So two of them, as far as we know, there was a big gutter division. They were a daggers, daggers drawn, enemies at least politically. But you know in political there are no permanent enemies. 
So he visited Mwike and uh, people were surprised and they asking Dave Omahi why. He said, um, I just had a brotherly visit to my brother. And when they speak this language, they are lobbying for the other person to join their party. And all indications point to the fact that Mwike will dump the PDP and join the APC. Again, the governor of Bauchi State is visiting him, his PDP, so it's very clear that he's telling him to forget what Ab Abubakar Atiku did and stay in the party. And now P2B also visited him. Is he asking him to join Labour Party? I don't know. But P2B released a message on his Twitter handle and said that he visited Mwike to, to discuss things that are very important and essential to the nation. And one of the things I think is to support his presidential candidacy. Is Mwike going to join the Labour Party? Nobody knows. Is he going to join the APC? Nobody knows. But let it be on record that P2B immediately he came back from Egypt on a very important trip to understudy how the power system is working there, the education and all other things. Went directly to Port Harcourt a few days after and met with Mwike. We don't know what that meeting will tell, but we will be watching very closely and very carefully to see how it is going. So this is the direction Obi went and the obedient people are all supporting what he is doing and the movement is growing. We will ask you, are you for the obedient movement or are you against it? Do you think that Peter Obi will make a good president for Nigeria? The young people have given him another name, Go and Verify. They say he doesn't say what he will do Nigeria, for Nigeria. He only says what he has done. And they ask the cliche, go and verify. This is all we'll bring you on this one. We'll bring you more updates today and what is going on with the Obi and the Obedient Movement. Remember to please consider subscribing if you have not done so. Also, press the notification bell so that our uploads will come directly to you. Like and share this video. Let it go viral. Thank you and God bless.